This is the full review of the HP Windows Mixed Reality headset and the direct comparison with the Lenovo Explorer. Coming up. Hi and welcome here at Mixed Reality TV. My name is Sebastian Ang and if you are just as excited about VR and AR as I am, then subscribe now and click on the bell button so you don't miss anything. As you probably know, I've ordered the HP Windows Mixed Reality headset from Amazon.com from the US for only $200. And even though I live in Germany, I only had to pay 240 euros, including shipping and taxes. So a real steal. But is this any good as compared to my favorite cheap Windows MR headset, the Lenovo Explorer? I'm gonna find out with you now. Let's start with design, comfort and features. I think that HP has done a great job here in terms of design. I really like this Robocop look. It is a good looking headset. And well, in the direct comparison with the Lenovo Explorer, I do think that both look very good. So these two headsets are the better looking uh, Windows Mixed Reality headsets, in my opinion. Now, for the comfort, this headset is a bit heavier than the Lenovo Explorer. However, it is not really super heavy. It's still lighter than the Dell Visor, for example, and it's definitely lighter than the Samsung Odyssey. So is it any comfortable? And I can tell you, yes, it is not bad. It's really, really not so bad. Let me give you here a look at the headset. So the faceplate here, it is some kind of velvety material, very similar to what we see with the HTC Vive. Then we have this really good nose flaps here. And these are angled nose flaps. So your nose does not have to protrude through it like it has for the Samsung Odyssey. So this is really, really a well done face mask and it really is comfortable. Now, when you, um, when you wear it a bit longer though, and if you compare it then to the Lenovo Explorer, the Lenovo Explorer still is more comfortable than the, the HP Windows Mixed Reality headset. You still feel the weight and also the, um, the padding here. The padding here, it's made of some kind of rubbery material, which is good when you sweat. But um, this area is rather slim and not as wide as compared here with the Lenovo Explorer. So on the long run, with the added weight, um, you still feel a bit uncomfortable on the long run. So when wearing this a bit longer, it is not as good as the Lenovo Explorer. But is it uncomfortable? No, this is still a comfortable headset and it does have its advantages, especially in the nose area. So I really think they did a great job here for the nose area. This area is really comfortable and actually the nose area is more comfortable than here on the Lenovo Explorer. But for this part here, um, I recently ordered some VR cover, which will exchange, uh, which I'm going to use to exchange the phone with. So then it's gonna be interesting to see if it's gonna get any better with that flimsy part here for the Lenovo Explorer. This is really not so great. So yeah, this is actually the only advantage that I see here for the HP, the nose area. This is good, but still, as I said, on the long run, it is still not as comfortable as the Lenovo Explorer. Now let's talk about the features. Well, it's a Windows Mixed Reality headset. So yeah, it has also, just like all the others, it has inside out tracking. So you don't need base stations. That is really, really good. Works perfectly. Tracking of the controllers works great. And um, yeah, in general, this is a nice Windows MR headset. So as you can tell here, it is also PSVR style and you can um, exchange, uh, you can change the size here and make it comfortable for yourself. And then what is special about this headset is the cable management. As I've already mentioned in the unboxing, you have a detachable cable here. So you can detach it here. So um, 
if your cable breaks, you don't have to send in the whole headset, but you can only, you can just ask for a replacement cable. So this part definitely is great. Then just like all the other Windows MR headsets, this also does not have an IPD adjustment. So if you don't have the average IPD, the average into public distance of 64 millimeters, then this is not really for you. Just like all the other Windows MR headsets, you do have the software IPD adjustment, but that, that is simply not really good. If you want to have a Windows MR headset with IPD adjustment, then you have to go for the Samsung Odyssey. That's still the only Windows MR headset with IPD adjustment. Other than that, you have your um, 3.5 3 millimeter audio jack here. This is pretty well done. And also just like with all the other Windows MR headsets, you have this flip up display. So much for the features. So now we're already coming to the exciting part, the display, the lenses, and most importantly, the FOV. Can this compare to the Lenovo Explorer? I'm going to let you know now. So first of all, for the display, it's using exactly the same display as all the other Windows MR headsets. Well, at least the cheap ones, not the same like the Samsung Odyssey, but all the other ones. So the, the display is 1440 pixels times 1440 pixels per eye. It looks good, it looks sharp, looks better than Vive and Rift, and definitely that's a good experience. Also, it uses the same Fresnel lenses like all the other Windows MR headsets, so really no surprises here. But now the FOV. And unfortunately, I have to tell you that the FOV of the HP Windows Mixed Reality headset is really bad. It cannot compare with the Lenovo Explorer at all. And I was really like a bit shocked when I tried this out for the first time. You have this binocular vision. It, it really feels like you're, you're looking through this binocular. You have those black edges so clearly when you use the HP Windows Mixed Re Reality headset. And it really is not nice. So they already admit themselves on their website that this has um, an FOV, a field of view of around 100 degrees. And yeah, that kind of fits the bill. So it cannot compare to the around 110 degrees of the Lenovo Explorer at all. And honestly speaking, just because of that, it's so tough to recommend this headset, even though it's super cheap right now, but the Lenovo Explorer is also really cheap and it has this much better FOV than the HP headset. And it makes such a big difference when you're in VR and you constantly have the feeling you're looking through these binoculars, that is really not good. So unfortunately, the FOV of the HP is really dismal in comparison to the Lenovo Explorer and to most of the other high quality headsets like the Oculus Rift, the Vive or the Samsung Odyssey. So for all the other things that I've already tested for Windows on my headsets, like the headset tracking and the controller tracking, everything is completely on par with all the other Windows MR headsets. And if you found this video because you were looking for a specific review of the HP Windows MR headset, and you would like to know about the, how well is it tracking with those headsets, then please check out my other reviews of the Windows MR headsets, like for example, the one of the Lenovo Explorer, and I'm going to put a link on it here. Now, let me come to my final conclusion for the HP Windows Mixed Reality headset. Unfortunately, I cannot recommend this headset because the FOV, the field of view, is just too small. This headset has the smallest FOV that I've ever seen in a Windows Mixed Reality headset, and that is simply not fun. So even if you can pick this up for really, really little money, don't do it. Better get the Lenovo Explorer. This is the best of the cheap headsets, or if you have a bit more money to spend, go for the Samsung Odyssey. But like this, with this small FOV, I can really not recommend the HP Windows Mixed Reality headset. And you know what? It's a real shame that the FOV is so low because other than the FOV, this is a really nice headset. The build quality is great. I lo love the face part here with, with that nose flaps. They are so well done. Then, um, yeah, 
this portion here with the rubbery material is also nice if you sweat a lot i like it that you can detach the cable the cable management is good it has a nice flip up display so everything is actually really nice it's comfortable not as comfortable as the lenovo explorer but it's really not bad so everything is fine just the fov is so disappointing and that's why i really cannot recommend this headset so therefore still the reigning champion of the cheap windows on my headsets without a doubt the lenovo explorer i put a link in the description below if you want to pick it up you can get it now for i think 260 dollars or so from the amazon.com us website and it is a steal if you have any more questions about the hp windows mixed reality headsets or about vr and ar in general simply put them into the comment section below or much better directly chat with me or the MRTV community on our MRTV Discord server. The MRTV Discord server is the resource. The great community is there, the great MRTV community is there. And again, it's a free resource and you can simply get there by clicking on the link in the description below. Do it, it's so worth it. I'm looking forward to meet you there. Let's meet each other on the MRTV Discord server. All right, that's it for this video. I really hope it was helpful for you. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you've not subscribed to Mixed Reality TV yet, do so now. I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode.